back to the channel, y'all. In this episode, I'm going to show you guys my sin of the day. Pretty much. Um, y'all know about this one. I talked about it once. As a matter of fact, I picked up a second ball of this, guys. That's my first ball. That's how much I've been wearing it. And this is called Impression of Zara Rich Leather. Matter of fact, they got another Creed Adventures clone in City Trend that I'm going to pick up Tuesday. If I knew it was a Creed Adventures clone, I would have picked it up that day. I had it in my hand, guys. It's called King D. I think you guys saw it in my last City Trend blog. Look back at that last blog. And um, look at that King D I had in my hand. I'm going back to pick it up Tuesday. Might pick up two. I like those Creed Adventures clones, man. They be... Smelling good. The last about two to four hours. It's good to me. All right, this one here. So I picked up another bottle. I went back to City Trends. I told you guys I won't get it. I got another bottle. I should have got that King D. But instead, it didn't say it was a clone of Creed Adventures until I looked up on it. And when I looked up on it, I found out it's a clone of Creed Adventures. And I like Creed Adventures clones, but instead, I got this one for a Creed Adventures clone. Alright, so I'm going back and get the King D. Not only I like it because it's a Creed Adventures clone, I like the baller design of it as well, because it's like this. Just to put on my cologne rack, I'm starting, I'm going to try to, I'm going to build me a cologne shelf. I'm going to share it with you guys. And, um. Try to have my ballers out front that I like the most. And like I said, I like these baller designs. Like Creed. Not necessarily spending four and five hundred dollars on a uh even two hundred dollars on a Creed baller, you know what I'm saying? But I can get a replica baller that looks similar to it. Same great looks anyway for a fraction of the price. Alright? So anyway, let's move on. Let's put this aside. I told you guys I was going back and get another box of the rich leather. And I did it. That's my old baller that I've been using. Here's my new baller right here. You all can see I've been killing it. I like this scent so much I've just been killing it. Longevity for me, I get about a good four to six hours out of this. Projection. It projects really well. It projects for about an hour and a half. To maybe two hours, which is not bad considering this cologne only costs about three dollars. Made by Preferred Fragrance. Y'all know Preferred Fragrance makes some pretty good colognes. And this is a good one. I'm telling you guys, and it's cheap. If you guys are near a city trend store, this is one I highly recommend you guys pick up right here. It's, it's called their impression of Zaro. Zari, whatever how you pronounce it. Called Rich Leather. I just call it Rich Leather. It's two ninety nine, and it got the barcode and everything is telling you what it's cloned of and you know Zara Rich Leather, Zari, whatever y'all you pronounce it. But I went back because I told you guys I won't get a, another ball of this, and I did. All right, now moving on, man. Now this cologne right here it got the notes on the back. It tells you, it starts off just like Creed Adventures, basically. It tells you on the back of the box, it has pineapple, pink pepper, and leather. That's what this has in it. Pineapple, pink pepper, and leather. Alright, doesn't that sound familiar? Alright, and the, the sprayer is great. The box looks pretty cool. It's got like a leather, kind of leather design look on the boxes, all around the sides. Everything, the baller design right here, and it has the, telling you the notes right there, and the impression. It's called Authority. I like these baller designs as well. And here's here, here's the sprayer. It's got like a kind of leather like thing right here, as you can see, like a little piece of leather right there. I like the baller design on these as well. A lot of these clone colognes y'all see me buying. I don't really buy them because, let's say, I like the smell so much. A lot of times I buy them because I like the baller design. I mean, if I don't even never wear up the cologne, I can wear a little bit of it and just stop wearing it and wear something else. 
But I still like the baller design in my collection. Because I like the crew. This one here, where half of it's chrome at the top. And I think it's pretty cool. Man, I mean, kind of a uh, uh, cologne, y'all. Y'all know what it is. Uh, British Sterling. It's kind of. <laughs> it reminds me of British Sterling cologne. Old school cologne. It's got a cool looking bottle. British Sterling has a cool looking bottle as well. Alright, check out the spray on this bad baby. Here we go. Pretty decent spray on. Stuff is very strong. When I spray my I load my shirt, I go right down the middle of my shirt like that. So it can carry the smell. You know, so. <laughs> yeah, that's another little tip for you guys. See, I always hit your shirt around here and I kept my eyes on down the shirt like that. So. The smell will stay in the shirt for a long time. So it ain't going to wear out too easy. But hey, like I said, I get about an hour and a half to two hours of projection. About four to six hours of longevity. And around the fourth hour, I don't mind this, you know, reapplying it again like this. It's cheap anyway. So why not? And I got a second baller anyway. So I'm good. I told you guys I was going back and get it. And I did it. I did exactly just that. I went back and got it. So anyway, it's my center of the day. I'm going to just call it Rich Leather. Zara Rich Leather. And um, there you go. If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Share my videos with your family and friends. And I'm going to come back with my center of the night for you guys. And some of my recommended, top five recommended scents. Um, that's cheap. I'll come back with more of those as well. Anyway, till next time, I'll hit y'all on the next one. I'm out. Peace.